it. The olive leaf extract can help lower your blood pressure, clear eczema, and fight against autoimmune diseases and so much more. Visit EmbracePangea.com to treat your intimate areas with the products it deserves. Automotive Negotiator right at your fingertips. Click on their link below to start your pain-free car buying experience today. Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, now let's start with April and Fizz. April is out here telling us that this is the best sex that she's ever had with Fizz, okay? Like, we give a damn. I know that this relationship is for a check, okay? But I'm gonna tell you something that Monice from Love & Hip Hop told me when we got on the phone. I don't even think April is really having sex with Fizz, okay? I think the reason April is saying that this is the best sex she's ever had is because, you know, if you remember, there was an episode of Love & Hip Hop when Omarion had admitted to being not circumcised. I think she was actually... Uh, I think she told that business. But anyway, he ain't circumcised. And she said it felt like, you know, he was like beating her up and he was real dry and stuff like that. And if you've ever been with an uncircumcised man, you know you need a whole lot of lubrication, okay? Because they, they can't, you know, it ain't solid. It's it's meat, it's rubbing against, it's 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 fatty. It just say, mm, mm, mm. so I can understand her saying that this is the best peen that she's ever had, but she's really enjoying other women, okay? Because apparently, according to uh, Monice, she's in a polyamorous relationship, which means Fizz is giving her the pee and then she's got a girlfriend giving her hair. So of course, this would be the best sex that she's ever had if she's got people that are great at different things. It makes sense. But I'm just saying, don't come out here and act like Fizz is giving you everything that you need in bed and you have been sleeping with this woman and her girlfriend's girlfriend, okay? That's what Monique said, all right? And you guys know, I have not spoke on April and her shenanigans on the internet, okay? She's out here telling, you know, her business, who all she done smashed and who wants to smash her as if we care. And she's even smashing and having a public relationship with her ex-baby daddy's almost damn near best friend. Well, it, he can't say that they're not best friends because they were. And I just want to point out, ever since April told us on Instagram that she had to work as a nurse, you know, Marion went paying child support. And I understand why he went paying child support, because, child support because he ain't had no damn money to pay her, okay, until he got back on tour. She was draining his damn money and telling him that she wanted to go on tour even though she couldn't sing if you followed that show. She also had us thinking that Omarion was just this bad dad. He didn't, you know, he wasn't there for us. She had to go back to work and work as a nurse. And even though I know she's nursing other people in the bedroom, she ain't been working as no nurse because sis had to think of a storyline to get back on so that she can get a check that she had before and the publicity that came along with that when she was with Omarion. So dating his best friend just gives her double the damn publicity because she know that he has a baby mama that don't mind getting in her ass okay like she's been doing me and Moniz now I want to say this okay she has been trying to paint this picture about Omarion for a very long time but the only person's character we've been see we've been seeing that's actually flawed is April okay you out here telling your body count you out here showing your vagina on Instagram knowing one day that your son's gonna have to view that but yet you want us to somehow believe that Omarion was all bad just because he was uncircumcised Get the fuck out of here. All sis needed was some extra lubrication and that uncircumcision would have been damn good to her. But instead, she wants to go out here and trash this man. And yet this man is actually showing his character but not saying anything, okay? Because that's how you really get to view a person. When a person is louder than the other person, meaning me, I'ma tell you, giving me as an example more about myself than somebody that's just sitting here allowing you to guess who they are, okay? So she wants us to believe that Omarion's this bad man, but she's the one out here sleeping with everybody, including his ex-best friend, and showing how much of a 17-year-old thought that she acts like. Because I'm truly getting teenage vibes from April, meaning she didn't have much of a childhood at all, and so she's trying to rekindle that, okay? So I honestly want to give props to Omarion because Omarion is honestly more than the adult in this situation relationship and I feel that he was more of the adult when they were together as well and he had to let that bitch go to do what she does best. <laughs>